Thank you for joining us today in our video devotional here at Covenant Keepers Ministry. It's Wednesday, October the 14th, 2020. And we're looking at this scripture verse and talking through it. Uh, three verses in John 14, one through three. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. So this next phrase we're looking at here in the scripture is believe in God. And he says, you believe in God. He, he states it as a fact. Now he's talking to his disciples, but he's also speaking to us in this case. So it state is a statement. It's just like, you already believe. You do believe in God. So we have to ask ourselves, what does it mean to believe in God? And I need to ask you right now, do you believe in God? Do you believe the God of the Bible is who he says he is? And if you do, what do you believe about God? Do you believe all that he has said? Or have you scrutinized and divided the word of God and eliminated certain scriptures that don't fit with your preconceived ideas or notions? Or have you eliminated parts of the scripture because somebody taught you to do so? Because you were repeatedly taught, well, that isn't true today. Or have you eliminated it because it didn't fit your experience? And so you were letting your experience determine whether or not the word of God was true rather than letting the word of God tell you whether your experience was lining up or not? Have you removed scripture from your life related to areas where your, your life ended up the opposite of what scripture says? Hmm. Now, because of that, you either feel God is not believable at all, or God simply does not act the same way to you as he says he acts to people for whatever reason. See, and in truth, and what has happened in many cases is that someone has let you down. It could be a sibling, it could be a parent, it could be a child, it could be a pastor, it could be a teacher, it could be a neighbor, it could be a boss or fellow employee, Any, it could be anyone. And they let you down and you blame God for not intervening and saving the day. Now for those who follow Jesus, this may be particularly true with believers and a process of divorce. They may think God's letting them down because he didn't stop the spouse from divorcing them when in fact it was the spouse, not God. Whatever the circumstances in your, in your life, you and I need to hear this so clearly. God loves you. I don't care what's happened or happening to you. God loves you. He doesn't make choices for you and he doesn't make choices for me. He gives us the Holy Spirit when we repent of our sin and turn from our wicked ways and invite him to be Lord of our life. And that Holy Spirit he gives us, the Holy Spirit of God leads us into all truth. Anytime you or I begin to doubt God, I have discovered it is most often related to an event in our life where we feel God has let us down. And here's what the word of God teaches us. In Romans 10, 17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I know I may have said this thousands and thousands of times, but it still bears repeating. You and I will encourage, build, strengthen, and excuse my expression, ramp up our faith by getting into the word of God every day, reading it, meditating on it, memorizing it, studying it, and praying over it. And as we walk through life and mature, which will be till we die, we need to keep into the word, focused on the word of God so that our faith keeps being built. The more we discover God through his word, the more substantial will be our belief in who he is and how he conducts affairs with human beings. See, I, I believe the word belief implies that we trust. And maybe, in fact, a better word for faith or belief, trust. Trust is probably the best word. 
And as we process the word of God, our trust in God's character, his interaction with mankind gains conviction and confidence in our life. Because we see, wow, God's been consistent. He acts the same with all of us. If we repent, he, he turns from the wrath that he wanted to pour out from us on us. The Holy Spirit of God who do, it dwells in us assists us in trusting God and bears witness with our spirit that these things we've been reading in his word are true. So whenever we have an experience that conflicts with the instruction of the word of God, we have a human tendency to begin to a process to doubt who God is. So when our circumstances, our feelings, our experiences push us to separate ourselves from God in any aspect of our life, Trust becomes impaired. I don't want your trust impaired. I want you to believe God is who he said he is and will be to you in every circumstance if you'll just keep leaning on him. That doesn't mean every circumstance is gonna line up with the word of God. Doesn't mean you're always gonna feel good about it, but you keep trusting. You keep putting your faith in almighty God. So to believe that God is who he says he is demands trust, faith, belief. We gain assurance of that trust, that faith, that belief by hiding ourselves in God's word while pursuing every evidence we can find in our world of the God of this book we call the Bible. Now there's even a more important question. What have you not been believing about God that he declares about himself. You can go ahead and tell God that and then say, God, show me, help me with my unbelief. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the revelation of yourself in the word of God. Help us to dig deeper so we can understand your character better and trust you more. And Lord, help us where we've distrusted you where we haven't believed. Help us and help us to search and research till we discover the God of the Bible cannot lie. He is who he said he is. And you gave us promises and you're gonna fulfill them. We praise you for that. Now help us today. In the midst of every circumstance in our life, some not so good, some worse than others, and some really good, to trust you in all things. In the name of Jesus, amen. Only believe, only believe. God will not fail you. Trust him today. Have a great day.